I'm not a vampire, not an alien. I'm not the fucking mummy. I'm a goblin. Right, right, right. How short can I make this video? But still, fucking do it. All right, here is what. Here is the plot of the thing. Uh, King Kong and Godzilla. One hour on one movie. Fucking watch it when my new stereo thinks oh it's fucking amazing. I hear the screams, the screams, the bang, the like every scream of, uh, looks so fucking better with my audi new audio system. I was like, holy shit, I got a border of this, pal. <gasps> this is so good. This is fantastic. So I watched this. I watched it with King Kong, uh, Godzilla. Godzilla is like the alpha, you know. He has killed Tigra. He gets his king of the monsters. But now Godzilla has been locked somewhere, so that Godzilla cannot make because they're both alphas, and that's not gonna work. So they're gonna go try to battle. They're gonna try to battle and battle. And we don't want that because two titans battling. Oh, that's not gonna be good. So they try to keep them separate. They try to and then become Apex in that's a whole a new corporation. Apex uh, tries to make their own Godzilla. Yes, they're making their own Godzilla Megazilla. Wow. I love it. But you know, as in very fashion, that goes wrong. But not before Godzilla and King Kong go round one. They fight each other, uh, uh, fight each other round one gods uh, Godzilla wins because they were in water, they tried to get him away from the apex. Also, they want to find a hole, a fucking giant hole. They're trying to find this hole, and this hole is to go to the middle of the earth. Why there is a whole other world where maybe the titans came from, that's what other theory. But last time that didn't go well, they try again with apex. So apex was the kind of thing. So they go into the earth. Uh, uh, after King Kong get King Kong there round one Godzilla wins because there is no water and King Kong cannot uh, get, uh, uh, swim so he has that problem there uh, they go into the water they uh, well they go after that after Godzilla is like I won he, go, he goes off again goes like, actually away Go, finds it though a hole, gets into the deep of the core. It's my also I say a movie of the core, but there there was like a dinosaur still living in the thing instead of Titans. But either way, they get into the hole. This whole thing they survive that. Cause uh, King Kong finds his way, tries to go somewhere. They trying to follow him because they want the core. They want the core of go uh, of uh, they want the core of. Uh, of whatever made this ti titan so great. So they get to the core uh, and uh, King Kong finds his axe. It's like, oh, I got an axe. Everybody's better with an axe! <laughs> well, he has this axe now. Godzilla, also knowing, like, you know, something is going on in the core. He has, like, I'm not gonna let this thing, wherever he is. He is fucking down there. I sense it. I can sense that fucking alpha a uh, mile away. So he blasts in Tokyo and gets a blast right into the ground till it's uh, at the core. He fucking blasts a hole in the fucking ground till the core of the earth. Then it's like, hi, I'm here now. So they get the fuck out of there. King Kong gets out of them, and not before he gets his axe. Round two f uh, starts in fucking Tokyo. So yeah, Tokyo gets a blast from left to right. Oh, they're gonna fight. Yeah, King Kong w wins this round two. Round two for King Kong. Woo! Round three starts immediately. Round three, uh, Godzilla starts uh, starts winning. Now Godzilla wins, able to take. While that's going on, the mag, uh, mega uh, Godzilla is waking up. They tr they say, oh, like they control him, and now they have the thing of the core uh, uh, from King Kong. So they wake it up again, a mega Godzilla. But mega Godzilla is also created by the skull of the the under alpha. So you know, well, a rich guy having this corporation is like, I want to be the alpha. I want to be on top. I create a mega, loses control of it. Gets killed by his creation, and now Mega Godzilla isn't uh, isn't actually Titan because he is thing, but also an Alpha because he is uh, it's a part of it. Uh, part of him, well, is still from uh, King of uh, so he's actually that one, but reincarnated pretty much. 
so he starts to take, go ham to Godzilla, but Godzilla a little bit starts losing, and after a kid convinces King Kong that's like, okay, Godzilla is not the enemy. It's like you can, uh, like, yeah, sure, you both fucking alphas and ra rock on what the alpha thing, but sometimes you have to fucking work together. Sometimes you have to work together. Uh, so they work fucking together. Uh, eventually, God, uh, God, uh, King Kong is like, okay, after they uh, uh, destroyed Megazilla, it's like, okay, maybe we can be friends. So maybe I can think. But even though King Kong is actually able to, better to control because he can talk to human people with sign language. He talks to one girl that she uh, likes. Uh, either way, so King Kong uh, let, uh, lets his axe drop, uh, drops the mic and like, you, you, you can be the alpha, you can be the alpha. So Godzilla's like, yeah, that's right, I'm the alpha fucking, I'm the apex predator, I am the motherfucker. I'm the motherfucker that's the ruler of the fucking monsters. Yeah, you don't want to mess with this. So yeah, King Kong gives up, lets Godzilla uh, go. And so they fucking have an understanding that Godzilla is still the fucking king of the monsters. Even though you know, uh, Go King Kong loses like three rounds, so pretty much he yes, is. Uh, if you don't want to die, you better kneel because three rounds. If you if you still gonna go, that's not gonna go anywhere. Anyway, that's pretty much the uh, whole one. I loved it. I'm a, I mean, with my new stereos, it was so fucking epic. It was like, holy shit, man. I love this movie more than I should because I think also I didn't watch King Kong Island uh, uh, long I watched it like when I was in uh, going to Las Vegas so that I had a memory I didn't want to rewatch it because that was like so fixed memory like the first time I watched Kong Island was on the way to Las Vegas baby to Las Vegas <laughs> all the way from Belgium to Las Vegas baby and it was fun so I like to keep it that way, and uh, yeah, so now I have watched Godzilla vs. King on my new stereo, and oh my god, I love it, I motherfucking love it, I love the TV show that's going on now, right now as well, and yes, I know it's like, we're 2023 now, so this, this movie has been two years, years out already, anyway, so Godzilla vs. Kong, I give it a solid 10, it's really good, it's an action packed thing, there's also some people going on, but unless it's the TV show, I don't fucking care. The TV show, I care about characters that are in there. Here, I don't give a shit. There is the uh, Stranger uh, Things girl, uh, uh, the Eleven. I don't give a shit about her. I think she had like this drama that she's now very famous. And it's like, I want to do more stuff than the Stranger Things. And all the better for her. But it's not because of Godzilla vs. Kong that she gets more famous. It's not going to be for because of this movie. Because you are more in the way than anything else. I mean, the other characters were a little bit more better, but still, I don't care much about the characters. They're not so much to care about. They're very meh. Uh, the characters are just in the way. They're just like, sure, they help Kong a little bit here and there. Uh, Makes sense. Sure, the kid uh, made sense to lead him. It's like, but they, they don't matter that much. They're just you know, lot ways to get the, uh, get Kong to Godzilla of uh, of uh, making uh, Kong survive. That's like it. They're not that important. They're not that like in the TV series. Every character feels more important. So I recommend going to the TV series. Uh, you also see Godzilla there, so don't worry. You have Godzilla. You have also some Kong uh, going on. Anyway, that's my re short fucking review for this. Uh, what I like about it, what I like about Godzilla vs Kong, whatever I title this shit. I I really, really, really think it was a worth to fucking. And uh, certainly, my one new stereo is like, it's like fine wine. It's just so much better because I waited so long to watch this. Megazilla is also fucking a really cool uh, uh, thing, and I love that it has like th uh, its own. And, and I feel like that's higher. I thought Megazilla would be in the way and would be like, why is he even here? But kind of fits and kind of is fun to see God, uh, Megazilla. Just so cool. 
Anyway, that's pretty much my fucking take on this. Uh, what I think about uh, uh, this movie. And what's your take? Would you guys like Godzilla vs. Kong? Have you ever watched it? Because, you know, it's been out for a while. Anyway, let me know down below. And see you guys in my next one. Goodbye. Good night. Still likes in uh, Godzilla more. Just saying. Anyway, bye bye. Then the days got worse and worse, and now you see I've gone completely out of my mind.